Since then, His Majesty the King Lunar Nongsi Anuk is known as the father of the national independence. After gaining its independence, Cambodia has gone through many ups and downs, from the glorious Hong Kong Yong to the Khmer Rouge genocide regime and the civil war. Cambodia now enjoys complete peace and has achieved important milestones in its development, and particularly under the wise leadership of Sotai Tito Prime Minister Hun Sen, the country has been developing from year to year. High economic growth in Cambodia is one crucial component of peace and stability of the country. The royal government contributes and supports this high economic growth in, with its rectangular strategy, which is currently now is phase four. The strategy consists in reforming four significant areas, which are economic diversification, human resource development, private sector and market development, as well as sustainable and inclusive development. Through this strategy, Cambodia aims to spread the path for the state of Cambodia. I also wish everyone of you good health, happiness, and success in your global mission and business. Thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. For sharing that, thank you for sharing great achievements. And I'm sure that we can all agree that Cambodia has a brighter future ahead. And the owner of the team, and the member of the National Assembly, and the Vice Chairman of the RK Cambodia Mentary Fellowship Group. And ambassadors, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to join you in celebrating the Independence Day and Arms Force Day of the Kingdom of Cambodia. On behalf of the Korean government, I'd like to extend my warmest congratulations to the government of the Cambodia and its people on this day.